Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to show you a follow-up patient. If you remember a few months back, I have shown you a video of amniotic membrane grafting for painful pseudophagic bullous keratopathy. So that patient now came after two months. The patient was totally pain free he was very the she was very happy for painless bullous keratopathy this lady has used hypertonic saline drops to draw the fluid out anti-glaucoma medications to decrease the intraocular pressure bandage contact lenses for many months but the pain was still there it definitely decreased in intensity but it never go away so then i decided two months back that i should perform amniotic membrane transplantation because one of the indication of amniotic membrane grafting is in painful bullous keratopathy so I transplanted the amniotic membrane you can see that still because now she came with because now she came with foreign body sensations and as the amniotic membrane has healed the anterior surface of the cornea still the four anchoring sutures are there on the limbus and as their knots are also not buried so they are irritating the cornea as well as the lid and causing foreign body sensation and watering so now i am planning to remove those stitches because amniotic membrane has already done its job the patient is extremely satisfied happy so that's the follow-up case of post amniotic membrane grafting for painful pseudophagic bullous keratopathy so if you have got the patients with painful bullous keratopathy you should bear in mind you should keep in mind that you have got a very effective option of amniotic membrane now, this patient was extremely satisfied happy and i was all i also got very happy because uh, i have grafted amniotic membrane for various other reasons but it was the first time i grafted it for painful bullous keratopathy and it worked 100 percent so that was a case of amniotic membrane follow-up for painful bullous keratopathy thank you